the Michigan, the Michigan State tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. It's on the ground. The defense has it. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They get nice yardage on that run. That's a deep five That brings us second and goal. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. And he's tackled just outside the goal line. The back gets three on the carry. The offensive line has got to do a better job of making space because that was just a punishing hit. From the one yard line. Third down. Check, 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 check. Touchdown, MSU. And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 22-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Michigan Looks State. like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. Michigan State's really got things working right now. So I can't think of a better start. That's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, Get your offense out there. They move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. It may be early, but don't think the coaches haven't spent a lot of time reminding these guys how important it is to take care of the football. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. Throws left, the running back's got it. He's pushed out of bounds. At about the 43-yard line. That brings up second and nine. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. He is drilled at the 35-yard line. Wow, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. And this one is a beauty. Tackle at the 27-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Michigan State is up a score. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's level at the 40. First and, ten. First and ten. Ball on their own 40. Come to my world. Hey, check Mike 47. Go. Go, go, go. 
Post football. It's scooped up, and it's a lineman that's got it. Up the middle for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Knocked out of bounds at the 48. Call it a gain of five yards. First down. Two tights, two tights. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Red two, yellow three. And he gets a yard on the run. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 47 yard line. Tight right, tight right. Black five, black five. Go. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle at the 37. Gain of 10 on the play. First down. Three down, three down. Hey, check point 47. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow. Run, 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 run. He gets another carry. Nice run to the outside. From the 32 yard line. It's second down. Michigan State up seven points. Dog four. Just throws this one away. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quick out to his receiver. And he's taken down right around the 14-yard line. That was actually pretty good defense. But a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. From the 14-yard line, let's go, let's go. first down. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. And two, on, green nine. Motion. Green nine. Go. Ah. Caught a big hit there to stop him. Maybe three yards that time on the pass. It's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Make the stop at the 15-yard line. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. Green nine, green nine. They'll bring him down at about the three-yard line. We're at the 12th play of the drive. That, that makes, makes it first, first and goal. Hey, check by 47. Check by 47. Red two. Red seven. Red seven. Motion, motion, motion. motion, motion, motion. <laughs> they go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. We got second and goal. Four yards out. Michigan State is up by a touchdown. Touchdown, Spartans! And he hits the PAT. It was a 13-play, 74-yard drive, and 
the result, seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Spartans really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And a quick throw. Tackle made to the 37-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, the Spartans lead 14-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. And that one's incomplete. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He's on the run. Brought down at about the 47-yard line. And he stopped behind the line. Nothing there on the keeper. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they looked sharp before this one even started. Here's a run, and he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. That brings up second and nine. Four down, four down. Hey, we're going Mike 40, Mike 40. Finds his man. First down. That's a great tackle at the 20. From the 20 yard line, it's first down. Zips it to the back. What a play, and that is first and goal. Number six makes the Taken down around the two yard line. Touchdown, Terps. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. So a little bit of deception on the four wideout formation leads to six points, and he converts the extra point. So a 12-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Oh, man, he took him down hard. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Michigan State is up seven. A one-yard gain by the halfback. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Second down and nine to go. Ball in the 23. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number five. Black five, black. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line.
Good protection. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From their own 46-yard line, first down. If you kill Seven, it, push me out. Makes it out to about the 46. That makes it second and two. Makes it out to about the 30. First down. From the 30-yard line, first down. Michigan State is up a score. Red two. tackled right away throws it in a hurry i like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play dog four gets it that quickly and he's tackled at the 20-yard line nothing going on that play well here i think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket that way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it and so it's another third down upcoming here double tight double tight three down three down dog four Watch Caught open field. The defense is there to defend the pass, but we're still unable to stop them from picking up enough yards to move the chains. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Hands it off. And they hit him in the backfield. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick strike to the receiver. He's hit and taken down. Kill, kill. Panther two. That makes it third and seven. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Two yard pickup. The defense respects this guy and knows they have to pay a lot of attention to him. He didn't have any room after that catch. This should be an easy field goal. Michigan State is hoping to make this a two score game. Kick is up, and it is good. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He makes his way to about the 38. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. First and 10, ball on the 38. He wants it all going long. And it's caught, and he's immediately tackled. We played a half of football here. Michigan State's got a 10-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites.
David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Well, as an iconic figure once said, that escalated quickly. Got away a little bit from this team that's supposed to be in control of the game, and now suddenly they aren't. And David, we, we say this every week. We say this team has to go into the locker room, make some adjustments. They have to change things, have to give a big speech. What's the most important, the most impactful thing that this team could do in the second half to turn this game around? Well, I think you, you come into half and you do have those all those great speeches and you, you, the coaches do try to get you fired up, but then you realize that you just got to execute. And, and I think you don't come in as, as a favorite, as a more talented team and panic, and that's something that you can't do. So I think the second half, you come out and you try to get some positive things going. You try to get some first downs. Stop thinking about getting the 14 points back right away. Start putting drives together. Then you get points. Then you're down, you know, seven points or you're down one score. You get it more manageable. But listen, when you're the more talented team, you don't have to panic. And I think the coaches tell you, listen, nothing's changed. The schedule is going to stay the same. We just got to make more plays, less mistakes in the second half. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on their own 30. Let's go, let's go. Here we got one, two. He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 43 yard line. That's a gain of 13 on the play. First down. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Three down. Three down. Three down. Three down. Let's go. Let's go. Here we got Mike. Number Red. Red. He makes his way to about the 48. Call the gain of nine yards. That brings us. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. He goes out of bounds at the 46. So the completion goes for about two yards and a first down. Nice play there to move the chains and keep the drive rolling. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. And now he's got room to run. Makes it out to about the 29. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 29. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And they'll get him in the backfield. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 20. At about the 17 yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Tenth play of the drive. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. 47 Mike, 47 Mike. Mike, 47. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play.
It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up, and the field goal is good. Michigan State lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they make the stop at the 32. Up the middle for a nice game. Scrambled. And he hits him hard at the 42. He's scrambling. He lost the ball. He picks it up. They'll bring him down at the 41 yard line. It's third down and six to go. Ball on their own 41. And on the throw, he caught it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 47. Gain of six yards. That makes it fourth and inches. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He really got a hold of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Tackle made at about the 19-yard line. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 19 yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Go! Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. And he's taken down right around the 28-yard line. That's a good game. That'll make it fourth and two. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. Spartans' plan was to run the ball, and they are doing it as well as we've seen it. Uh, they're running the football. These backs seem to be hitting the holes just at the right time. And how about the offensive line? Just opening up some nice holes, just doing what this offense needs to do to be successful. And he just gets rid of it. Second and 10. Ball on their own 35. Got hit and still completed it. And down he goes, around the 36-yard line. That brings up third or 10. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Loss of six yards on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Fourth and long here after the sack. He 
carries to the 40. Tackle at the 43. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. 20 to 7, Spartan. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Roger, Roger. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike. Black go. A five-yard gain. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He fires right, makes the catch, and gets out of bounds. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. Let's go, let's go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yellow three. He's on the run. And they got it. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 27. He might not be able to get the pass off. He's wrapped up for the sack, and the defense gets to him again. If they keep putting pressure on him like this, he might start to look to get rid of the ball quicker, which could very possibly lead to turnovers. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. And another sack by the defense. the sack it's now fourth and long in a perfect world he knocks this kick down inside the 10 this punt goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback the quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play About the 25 yard line. Gain of one on the play. That'll bring up fourth it's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Less than three minutes in the game. Got it, but he's going to be stopped short. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's tackled around the 26-yard line. Second and 
Second and seven. Ball on the 26. He's taken down around the 25-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Maryland will take their first time out of the half. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the 18-yard line. From the 18-yard line, it's first down. Nice run there as they work the outside. The Terrapins call a timeout. That's their second of the half. The Terrapins, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Touchdown, Spartans. The Spartans are so confident every time they hand this kid the football that he's going to do something special. Well, there's a reason he's the go-to man. And, and here, with everything at stake, he's able to deliver for them in a big way. And he converts the extra point. Michigan State gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Spartans have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Oh, it almost picked off. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Halfback's got it on a quick throw. Tackle the 37-yard line. Right complete, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. So they go to the air and pick up six. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. The spike will stop the clock. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He's immediately tackled. with a first and goal. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Spikes the ball. That brings up second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the seven yard line. Under a minute left in the game. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Three-yard line. 
You know, in this day and age with the spread and so many offenses being in such a hurry, how refreshing is it to watch an offense just kind of go old school, line up, blow people off the line of scrimmage, and just assert themselves with their personality? From the 45-yard line, second down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 27-14, Michigan State. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.